Wednesday, February 17th, 2021, Ash Wednesday. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, You are the trust of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest sea. Psalm 65, verse 5. The doctrinal text is 1 John chapter 2, verse 2, and it reads as follows. Jesus Christ is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sin of the whole world. Let us pause now to reflect on what today's watchword would say to us during this season of Lent. You are the trust of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest sea, that watchword says. Today we begin the journey of Lent when we are called to pensively reflect on the mission of Jesus, climaxing with his work of salvation wrought for us by his death and resurrection. As a nation, we also enter the second phase of a semi-lockdown occasioned by a second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic on our shores. It is still early in the new year and such greetings are still trickling causing us to reflect on that transition from one year into the next. Amidst these scenarios, the word of the psalmist comes, reminding us that God is the trust and hope of all creation. In fact, the verse, when read fully, assures us of God's answer of deliverance to our cries for help. The verse says, By awesome deeds you answer us with deliverance. God of our salvation, you are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest sea. As you reflect during this season of Lent, observe how the Son of God offered hope to those he encountered whilst on earth by deeds such as healing the lepers, and the infirmed woman, raising the dead, calming the storm at sea. Then cast your minds back to this time last year, when you were mindful of God's goodness in bringing you into that new year. But review also the days of the pandemic, and remember how God provided amidst layoffs and protected throughout lockdown. Let all this remind you that what God has done before, he can do again. He is still the hope of all the earth and will answer with deliverance. Therefore, my friend, do not despair. Even as you face the challenges and uncertainties of the pandemic, remember that God is yet your hope and deliverance. Hence, the psalmist could say, The Lord is my shepherd, therefore shall I lack nothing. So, like the psalmist, you too can declare, and ought to declare, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Know that he is able to sustain you, whatever the circumstance. You can have hope in him. Let us pray. Loving Lord, we thank you for the assurance that you will never leave us nor forsake us. In these challenging times, enable us to put our confidence in you to take us through this journey. As we traverse Lent, guide us to true reflection on your all-encompassing goodness through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.